day friends, welcome to my upholstery shop. Did you come to buy something today? Perhaps some um, curtains or pillows or maybe some cushions for your furniture? Oh, I have the finest fabrics for you to choose from. From England and France, of course, so they are a bit expensive. But if you need anything to decorate your house, you could take a look about the shop and pick out your favorite fabric. No, you don't want to buy anything today? I don't blame you with this revolution going on. There's more important things to spend your money on than fancy fabrics from England. Did you perhaps need a flag for your navy ship? You are aware that I'm a fine flag maker, yes? Now I do make flags that are made of stars and stripes and red, white and blue. Were you interested in one of these? Thirteen stars and stripes, representing our thirteen colonies, of course fine design for a flag, but I did not come up with it. George Washington came here to this upholstery shop with a drawing of what this flag was supposed to look like, and I followed the drawing slightly. But you see, I wanted him to change something about that drawing. General Washington, he had asked if I could put six points around each and every one of those stars for the flag. Six pointed stars, that's what he wanted. But I'm a smart businesswoman, so I told him no to six-pointed stars. They were going to take too long to make. He wanted this flag finished as fast as possible, after all. So I suggested a change to the stars. Perhaps, I told him, if he allowed me to put five points on each of those stars, I could finish that flag in a fast time. Now, he wanted to know exactly what I meant, so I told him I would show him, demonstrate exactly how fast and easy those five-pointed stars are. Now, would you like to see how fast and easy it is to cut out those five-pointed stars? I will show you. You will be so impressed. Start with a rectangle, fold it in half, take the top corner, fold it to the center, fold over that long bottom to meet in the middle, and then fold the last part down so it all lines up nice and even. Now take your scissors, make one snip at a nice angle, and open that piece of paper up, and there's your five-pointed star. Now, of course, a flag for General Washington or a flag for your Navy ship cannot be made out of paper. It would not survive very long on the battlefield. But I will fold and cut my fabric the same way as this paper to make all the stars for the flags that I need. So, how many flags will you like in your order? I'll get on them right away. 